Golden Wildfire, the leader's stratagem. The Alliance Army pushes back the Empire at Deirdre, where they receive word that Count Gloucester has rejoined the Alliance. It seems his disloyalty was all part of a deceitful plan. With their position lost, the Imperial Army begins to retreat. Claude and his allies press forward, planning to surround them as they flee to Adrestia. The Imperial forces within the Alliance are currently dispersed between the western part of Regan territory and the northern part of Gloucester lands. They're making a desperate attempt to march south, but Count Gloucester's persistent attacks have slowed their progress. I would appreciate it if you could be more precise with your language. In fact, my father's tactics have halted the Imperial Army's southward advance. I'm pretty sure that's what I just said. Anyway, here's where we come in. We'll surround the enemy, cutting off their retreat and cornering them in Western Regan territory. Then, we give them a good thrashing. That's it? Sounds kind of simple if you ask me. Hey, what more could you want? All the best plans are easy to understand. Trust me, it's a sure win. Yeah, even I know what's going on now. We just have to herd the Imperial Army into Western Regan territory and stop them from moving any further south, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Just remember that the enemy knows this is their last stand. We have to proceed with caution. I want to finish them off before Count Burglies has a chance to muster a sizable army and mount an attack. Um, Ferdinand and Bernadetta are leading the Imperial Army, right? I'm guessing you'd rather not kill them? Believe me, I don't want that either. We may have been in different classes, but they're still our old friends from the Academy. Once our forces are in place, I plan to offer them terms of surrender. But for now, we need to focus on driving their army into a corner. You got it! I swear on these biceps, I won't let them get away! I don't know. I'm not convinced it's gonna be that easy. But I guess that's besides the point. We've got to get out there. You said it. Let's move out. I can't believe that Count Gloucester betrayed us. The Great Bridge has fallen back into enemy hands. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. As it stands, Ferdinand's forces are trapped behind enemy lines. The Minister of Military Affairs is moving to recapture the Great Bridge of Murden with all haste. However, I fear he lacks a sufficiently sizable force to do so swiftly enough to reach our isolated comrades before they are crushed. We cannot stand idly by while our allies are in danger. What are our options, Hubert? I have already taken the liberty of engaging several promising mercenary companies. I directed them to covertly enter Alliance territory and provide reinforcements to Ferdinand. Why was I not informed of any of this? <laughs> From the very beginning, I had my doubts about Ferdinand and his ability to lead our troops to victory. I employed these mercenaries using my own personal funds, which obviated any need to report it. And you believe they'll make it to him in time? I do. It turns out that they are quite familiar with the terrain. I am confident that they will prove well worth the cost of their contracts. It's funny, Hubert. 
to think that your complete lack of faith in Ferdinand might be the very thing that saves his life. The world truly is a mysterious place. My instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. experience. Bye. 
haven't been wasting my time. I'll master this. I've got the hang of it. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Gonna help. Very nice. Can't wait to get back out there. I didn't know I could do that. Time to work you into shape. With proper training, you'll be on time to work you into shape. this Can't wait to see how you do. Time to work you into shape. I have this talent hidden away? I'll master this. Time to work you into shape.
Can't wait to see how you do. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. That should come in handy. Time to work you in with proper training. You'll be unstoppable. Well, Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy.
Solid, solid. Thanks, I love this. Hey, thanks. It's nice to have a friend who knows what I like. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Hey, this is great. I bet anyone would love this stuff. I can tell you were trying to make something that would appeal to a child. But I suppose that's okay once in a while. I need it again. For me? Really? Well, that's very kind of you. Let's eat it together. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Nothing is more joyous than a friend treating me to a meal and getting to enjoy it with my beloved sister. Right, but can we not do this whole beloved sister thing in front of other people? It's so embarrassing. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hmm. <laughs> Jeez. I see. <laughs> hmm.
You're busy? Counting on you. Hey. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> you sure? Fascinating. I would appreciate it. Hey there, need something? are the lifeblood of any army. By the way, excuse me. The 
it's like this. Hey, Holst. You here to train? That's right. I was just about to get started, in fact. Perfect. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. I was only planning on honing the fundamentals, mind you. Oh, hmm. Uh, I was actually hoping we could spar a little. I've heard stories about you for as long as I can remember. People say you're the mightiest warrior in all of Leicester. So I thought this would be a good chance to learn a little something about your strength. I'm afraid you'd likely learn little from such a bout. What? Why not? I can't go all out against an ally. When I spar, I have to take care not to kill my partner. Unlike in a real fight. Eh, I can live with a few broken bones. Just show me what you've got. If I do, broken bones will be the least of your worries. I'm well aware of your strength. I'd be in for a world of trouble myself if I held anything back. So, is there anything I can do to convince you? If you're that insistent about it, I suppose there is one thing that would change my mind. You mean if I made a move on Hilda? <laughs> now why would I want to kill you for that? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> But, uh, no, that's not what I meant. The only way you'll experience my full might is if you face me as an enemy. After all, there's no greater teacher than the battlefield. The vast majority of what I've learned didn't come from lectures or drills. It came from dancing with death time and again in the heat of battle. So. What do you say, friend? Care to team up with the enemy and pit your steel against mine? I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, so you'd actually consider it. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. You have to keep your options open. Anyway, for now I can settle for honing the fundamentals alongside an ally. Wonderful. Shall we begin?